What secrets are the U.S. government keeping? How much is the general public really unaware of? And what if what's being hidden is something not of this world? Over the 20th century and into the 21st century, the stories surrounding UFOs, alien contact, and even extraterrestrial experimentation have mounted up and up against the United States authorities. But if even a tiny percentage of those claims were found to be true, then what might the endgame be? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, does America already have exotic material? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. The idea of an exotic material is so often used in science fiction stories because it can solve so many problems. Whenever there's a spaceship design requiring fuel that we don't have in the real world, for example, sci-fi can use an exotic material instead. And whenever anything else happens that should be physically impossible, an exotic material of some kind can explain it away. But aside from straight-up science fiction, it's an idea that has taken hold in everyday life as well, particularly with regard to UFOs and UFO hunting. Back in the summer of 2019, the To The Stars Academy, fronted by Blink-182's Tom DeLonge, briefly made headlines following a claim that it had acquired exotic materials with a structure and composition not from any known existing military or commercial application. The source of those unknown materials wasn't entirely confirmed, but the suggestion quickly grew that they may have come from, or may have been linked to, a UFO. According to some follow-up reports, the US Army was even drafted in to analyze the materials and to determine whether they might be used for their own advantage. While To The Stars may have at times attracted some skepticism, however, in more recent years, we've seen further, similar claims made. In the summer of 2021, around the same time as the release of the infamous UFO report by US authorities, one Luis Elizondo, a former head of UFO research at the Pentagon, also made the news by suggesting there are physical, exotic artifacts from UFOs here on Earth. Elizondo, who had previously worked on the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program for the U.S. state, appeared on Fox News in May 2021, where he's quoted to have said that the United States government is in possession of exotic material, and I'll leave it at that. As with so many claims to this effect, Elizondo was a little ambiguous as to exactly what the material was, although he did also highlight that more analysis needs to be done. These stories haven't just emerged out of nowhere, though. There's a long history of it being suggested that the US in particular is housing some kind of alien proof or alien tech. The whispers surrounding the top secret base of Area 51 deep in the Nevada desert are, of course, well known almost coming to a head as they did in 2019 with the Storm Area 51 internet craze. But really, Area 51 is more like a base camp for alien conspiracy theorists, a stronghold for their general beliefs. But there are also a number of other locations of interest to them all across the country, including Camp Hero, an Air Force station in Montauk, New York, and Hangar 18 at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio, where some say the real Roswell crash vehicle is stored. In almost all cases, the facilities that are allegedly housing alien artifacts certainly are hushed up. Their top secret buildings, steeped in security, sometimes large parts of them are underground, and sometimes, as with Area 51 until as late as the year 2013, the government itself refuses to acknowledge that they exist. It's perhaps little surprise then, that these places become targets for alien talk, as there are just so many gaps to fill in. But can we ever do more than speculate that exotic materials are here, and that the top brass in US politics know all about them? For many, perhaps we can't. 
but we could also finally be approaching the time for full disclosure, whatever that may look like. At the start of 2021, it had variably been tipped as the year that Americans' alien secrets might finally be released. And partway through the year, with the publishing of the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Report direct from the U.S. Office of the Director of National Intelligence, it appeared that all the hype might finally be realized. Alas, the UAP report wound up a little anticlimactic for anyone that had been hoping for an alien reveal. It documented some 144 cases from U.S. government sources of UFOs, but conceded that only one of those cases could be explained away with confidence. The remaining 143 could be categorized, yes, but there was precious little mention or admission of aliens. The 2021 document was a preliminary assessment, so there are hopes that there might yet be more information to come. But so far, the watching world has seen nothing especially out of the ordinary. And so, if America does have exotic material, then it's still keeping very tight-lipped about it. For now, the conversation is more vocal than it has been for decades, however. Not since Project Blue Book in the 1950s and 60s, or the much-debated claims made by Bob Lazar in the 1980s, has the world looked to America with a thought that it might one day buckle to public pressure and just reveal all. So, for the last part of this video, let's imagine what might unfold if that were to happen. If the U.S. government were to wheel out its top-secret exotic material for the watching world to see and consider, what would happen next? First off, there's no doubt that this would be a momentous day in the history of humankind. After centuries of contemplating whether we are alone in the universe or not, a genuine spaceship or parts of a genuine spaceship that have been built on an alien world would stand as direct proof that there is life out there, even if that spaceship wasn't carrying an actual alien creature. But after this world had come to terms with that, the American government would surely find itself facing an onslaught of serious questions, and the revelation of exotic material could become a dramatically tense matter of international diplomacy. Why had it taken so long for America to come clean? What had the government been hoping to achieve over the years that it had been keeping this stuff hidden? How far across the government is the truth known, and for how long has it been that way? Other nations would be demanding answers, as would the American public. A long-held theory as to why governments might want to hide proof of aliens from their people is that it's because they're concerned about the panic that might take hold. But now, the situation has had a few decades to develop, and if there are secret aliens or secret alien tech, then the government that knows about it would now need to negotiate public anger, resentment, and severe distrust as well. But say, after a generation or more, we managed to get over all that. Systems of power and order re-establish themselves, and the public lives in a world where aliens are known and exotic materials are present. What then? Well, there's really no predicting. Without having access to these fantastical future materials and technologies for ourselves, again, it's a big reason why science fiction loves the idea so much, because the possibilities are essentially endless. In real-world science, however, one place where mention of exotic matter continually comes up when discussing the possibility of building wormholes. Now, picking apart a stranded UFO and attempting to reverse engineer it may very well fail to generate genuine wormholes even in the minds of the most optimistic what-if theorizer. And ultimately, exotic matter is a somewhat different prospect because it strips the material back to its most fundamental particles. But we can at least see that the revelation of a discovery of anything from space that we've truly never seen before could, in time, serve to reshape our understanding of science and technology here on Earth. It could revolutionize human society. 
But where do you stand on this? Is the US government hiding something huge from the rest of the world? Have there long been aliens on Earth? It's just that most of us are unaware. Or is the current hubbub around UFOs just another episode in a history of humankind arriving at the wrong conclusions? It's an international concern with universal consequences. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from Unveiled. And make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.